<clears throat> also look at this. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, his hair is too much. It takes me 45 minutes to get it ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to get along. Yeah, so you can see like a little delay over here. Oh, I see. Perfect. And we are live. Hi there. This is Leslie Kristen from the Car Makeup Academy and Car Cosmetics. And I am thrilled to be here with Esmeralda. She is one of our rock stars. Yeah. And yes, you are. And I wanted to introduce the world to you and the world. Yes, the world to you. Or Me to the world. I think so. You to the world. <laughs> I knew that sounded a little weird. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I wanted to share with you because I know that there are quite a few. We have a little, um, <laughs> our focus, it got a little out of, um, out of focus there a tiny bit. Um, so I wanted to, let me go back again. So sorry. All right. Okay. Hello. Okay. Our computer. <laughs> Move around. I know, right? I don't know what's happening there. But anyways, it's a nice little haze that we've got going on. Um, I wanted to introduce you to Esmeralda Jacinto. And she is one of our beautiful graduates, um, just a complete rock star. I am so proud of her. And I wanted to just for those of you that have been thinking about makeup artistry, or actually she lives in Ocala, so if you're looking for an amazing makeup artist, Cara certified in the Ocala area, she is your girl. Thank you. Um, and I know we have some clients up there as well. Um, so I wanted to also, I wanted to start our conversation with asking you, what made you decide to pursue makeup? Okay. Well, first of all, I want to uh, thank Leslie for having me. Um, thank you so much. You're so welcome. So thank humble. you for being here. Thank you. Um, I would I would say that uh, it was it had always been part of me. Mm -hmm. uh, I've always loved makeup. I always loved. Uh, for me, it's uh, like an art. It's art for me. And uh, I think after going through my marriage and everything and realizing getting out of my marriage is realizing what, what was it that I wanted to do and really like finding my purpose and my passion mm -hmm. more than anything. And so I, I think it was that it was after figuring out, understanding what was it that I wanted. I wanted to do something that didn't feel like a job. I wanted to do something mm -hmm. that, you know that I would feel passionate about and still be able to enjoy it, make money doing it. And I think it, yeah. this is where it started when it was like, all right, it's makeup. It's always been makeup. I just, with time in life, you kind of lose that, 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 the, um, focus. the focus. Yeah, yeah. Correct. Mm -hmm. So yeah. yeah, it definitely had to do that. It had, that's how it started everything again. Okay. So, so you decided, and when did this happen for you? This was, this was a really, really low, um, it was a, it was a part of my life that was very, very low. And, um, and it was right after I got out of a divorce. Okay. And, uh, got out of Listen my up, marriage. Listen up, girls. Listen <laughs> up, because sometimes life is not as pretty as it's it seems. It's not. It's not. <laughs> Everybody look, sees me smiling, but it's not smiles all the yes. time. Um, but it was definitely after I got out of my marriage. and. Um, and that's when I, I started, you know, digging in there and trying to figure it out. What was it that I wanted to do? What was it that, you know, cause I kind of felt lost for a minute, which is nothing wrong. I think we all go through those struggles mm -hmm. sometimes. Yeah. And, um, oh my gosh, carrying back to the question. 
Yes. Um, well, how long ago was it that that kind of happened? It was, it was uh, the one digging and trying to figure it out. I think it was like two, two years, two and a half, two and a half years ago. Okay. Yeah. So okay. it was two and a half years ago after my divorce and, you know, going through the whole situation, you know, with that comes other problems, personal mm -hmm. problems, emotional and yeah. Sure. And you have the child too. Yes. It was really, really hard because it was challenging for sure. Um, because I have, uh, two, three babies, two, <laughs> wait, I'm losing count. <laughs> she has three children. I, I know she looks <laughs> like she couldn't, she's not old enough to even have one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I am old enough. <laughs> um, so I, so yes, it, I, um, so that was another challenge part because I have always, when I got married, it was always like be a mom, be a mom. And that's basically like everything that I did. So getting out of the marriage, I found myself out of place, not knowing what to do. All I knew it was just take care of others before myself. So, um, so, so yeah, with three kids and, you know, not knowing what I wanted to do, mm -hmm. it was really, really hard. Um, but then, and then, and then a lot of other things happened and came with, with, with this and, you know, um, but man, like I've been losing my thought. <laughs> help me out help me out well I know I wanted to ask you now were you you're basically like you're a single mom and supporting yourself right yes at the time I was and then fortunately a lot of things happened fortunately and unfortunately but you know I found myself at one point um, not having a place to live having oh my, my kids to um, stay with their parents with their dads so until I got myself back together and um, but I knew I had to do something I wanted to do something. I knew I didn't want to be at the same place that I had been for many years. Mm -hmm. um, so that's when I um, I kept going to this place in Orlando. We call it the hair show. Place. Yeah, the premier beauty show. Absolutely. Yes. That's yes. that was my next question. How did you find us? Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> So I had been going to the beauty show because my sister, she's a hairstylist, which is okay. my business partner as well now. And um, she's been, she had been taking me for the past three years. And yes. with me, you know, I just wanted to learn and, and see. And basically, it was more like buying makeup because you get the best deals there. <laughs> um, and so one of, the, and eventually my third year, and this is where I met you. Um, I told my sister, I think I'm just going to start taking classes, you know, because I'm like, why not take advantage of it? You know, they give you a lot of um, material that it can be productive. Absolutely. Um, Lots of amazing, amazing yes. uh, educators along with myself and teaching there <laughs> every year. Definitely. And yes, and then we met and it's only been a year and a half ago. It's I think. a year a little, and a half ago. Yeah, a little yeah. over. I remember going to your class. And sitting there and you know I'm still trying to figure it out you know I had no idea I just knew I wanted to, you know do something but needed to find my passion I didn't know that I could make money doing what I love yeah and what were you doing at the time at what the was time, your job a uh, server okay. I served in restaurants for three years okay. four years at this time I'm sure a lot of our uh, probably a lot of the audience, which hi there, everybody. <laughs> Hello. Uh, Leslie Kristen with Esmeralda, if you just chimed in. And um, a lot of you can probably relate to being at a job that is not fulfilling, does yeah. not bring you a lot of passion. And you kind of know that, you know, what you have to offer the world is, is, far surpasses what you're currently doing, right? Correct. And then how do you kind of get out of that situation, Correct. right? Yes. Yes. Yeah, so I remember meeting you. Oh my gosh, yes. yes. I remember it for a little bit, I felt intimidated, just for a little <laughs> bit. Uh, because the, uh, Leslie is such a great person to work with. She's very straightforward, you know, she tells you, you know, you're gonna do it, do it. If there is no uh, gray in between, there is just black or white, make a decision. And, you know, and when I first, uh, you know, saw her and, you know, as she was speaking and, you know, conducting her class and I was like, man, that's the person that I want to work with because I was so tired of having uh, excuses basically forever, you know, uh -huh. and I was just so tired and I was like, I want to be, I want to be able to work with someone and have someone to teach me that can hold, hold me accountable for everything that I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And definitely when I met you, that's the energy that I got from you. That I knew that I, if I trusted <laughs> you, I knew that, um, 
if if I you know just did what he told me and you were like yep this is and you, and you know your energy is pretty awesome too so I was like this is well, the person that I, <laughs> this is the person that I want to work with and that's I remember leaving almost left the place and hoping that I will come back next year to do it but I, as I'm walking out out of the premiere I told my sister because I went with my sister I said hold on a second. I have to be back. I have, like, I'd wait here. And she goes, okay. And so I ran back to your booth mm -hmm. and I said, all right, I want to sign up. And, and you were like, all right. You know, and I was like, how much, you know, we talked about numbers. I was like, I'm yes. broke. I only have $30. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I'm broke. And, and, uh, you know, but Leslie, you, you did help me a lot. Yeah, with, we worked um, with her. If, if they're, if I see that someone has that, you know, that passion and that commitment, it's yes. commitment, commitment and coachability. Those are the two things because a lot of people have the passion, right? Yes. But they don't have the follow through Yeah. and you're never going to go anywhere. Yeah. And I don't waste my time on those people. Mm -hmm. I'm just, it's just straight up, you know, it's just straight up because I take my career very seriously. Right. And there's so much to, it's, it's kind of like, it's kind of like wanting to be an attorney, but never going to college and watching YouTube videos and pretending <laughs> that, you know, you're giving legal advice to people. Yeah. Definitely. It's kind of the same thing. You know, if you're not willing to invest in yourself, and and doing the work and i knew when you you know i just there are people i know i know that they're gonna so let's continue with your story yeah. <laughs> and so um and we did at that moment in my life going through the divorce and going through all these problems i didn't i had a job that's the only thing i had but i didn't have a place to stay i didn't have a car you know and my uh, my income was very very low it would just kept me going and so i knew it, it was going to be a struggle i knew it was going to be hard because you know if everything was easy then we'll be be here you know um doing great um but i think one of the things that i knew one few things that kept me there and motivated was you because i knew that you had my back i, I do knew, yeah i do i knew she had my back and that was one two it was my kids that i couldn't give up because there's little ones that are like looking up for uh, up to me and then the third one i just didn't want to give up on myself i wanted to show myself that i could do it that just because you know i had a relationship that you know i invested all my time to and i forgot about myself that that was not it i wanted to show myself that there was more and obviously one of the most important things i just didn't want to be working for someone all my life and I didn't mm -hmm. want someone to decide hey this is the only base that you can take off right. this is the only time that you can spend with your kids because the rest of the time 50% of the time or 60% of the time is for us yeah. and uh, so I said all right I made up my mind I said that's it this is it I am so tired of complaining all the time I'm so tired of making excuses for myself I'm done I'm so done. There's no more. There's no excuses for anything. And knowing that I didn't have a car, I mean, I think that for a lot of people, maybe if I was in a different mentality, this would have been a great excuse to not pursue classes or pursue to, sure. to better my career. Especially when she didn't live in Orlando. I mean, you yeah. live two hours away yes. from here. Yes, with traffic. So and everything, yes. coming every week two hours away also is huge. Yes. Yeah. It was. It's and a big commitment. It is. It is. And it was hard. Listen, oh. the things that I went through. Uh, yes. So, you know, I think that, you know, one of my, um, what I can tell people, um, I think that is really, if you really want it bad enough, you'll get it. Mm -hmm. I, think, I, I think it really comes down to that. If you stop just being so lazy on yourself. And so lazy on your goals and you know you just it's not just about talking about goals and career and what you want to do it's just like getting up and doing it if you can just lift your hand a little bit and just move that chair to the side and or fix your hair just the, those little things that will add up eventually mm -hmm. and it's just not giving up and you know it, it, like I said it was very hard at the beginning because I had someone to you know pick me up from a college I will pay to drop me off instead of a horrible hotel. <laughs> and then I, you know, stay there, pay my Uber to bring me to your class and pay my Uber back. 
Now, at this point, wow. Leslie had no idea no. all this was going on. No, I had no, no. idea. I would just and, show up. Yes, and show up and be on time and look professional and, you know, all of these things, which that's the thing when you are, and thank you for being here because, mm -hmm. you know, the whole world of social media, everybody looks perfect and everyone's world is perfect and you know, blah, blah, blah. And, and it's not, and no. it's okay that it's not because <laughs> it's not, no. And, and what's so beautiful about it is that you were open and coachable to understand that not only are you learning, you know, makeup artistry, but you're also taking it as a business. Yes. And that's what I want. Um, so I want you to share, you know, some of the things that, that you learned with us. And then um, what opportunities opened up for you? Yeah, definitely. So I think that um, one of the main things before I decided that I wanted to learn from you or learn from this industry was that I needed to humble myself. I needed to tell myself that I didn't know everything and that I was okay. I, I was okay to learning from people and I was never, it didn't matter who I sat in front of. I was always going to be humble enough to say, you know, I don't know everything teach me. I'm hungry to know. I'm hungry to learn. Um, but thankfully going to your classes and, you know, the academy and learning everything from you. Um, it, it, one of the very important things is like, I've learned that Facebook or not Facebook, but just videos, tutorials that they show on YouTube was a whole different thing. You know, I thought that, okay, well this makeup, I can do it on everyone else. Mm -hmm. And it's, it was just relearning everything. It was like, it was like, we were like we're little robots because they just <laughs> teach you that this is okay. Well, because they do this on their face, it's okay to do it with, with everyone else. But mm -hmm. you know, which is fine. I don't, you know, I don't like to talk about people out there that is doing it and you know, they're fabulous at doing it. But yeah. I think when it comes to uh, being a makeup artist, it's not just one look. Or it's well, and just, it's the difference between being an influencer and a working makeup artist too. Big difference. Huge difference. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and I found <laughs> a lot more faces that you have to work on than just your own, right? Capture yeah. Everything. And Hi so, there guys, yeah. by the way. Yeah. Um, so sending us love over there. Thank you. <laughs> Um, so yes, I think that one, there's a lot of things that I found that I was really surprised, like, man, like, and I thought I was a makeup artist, you know, <laughs> um, but it was learning how to work with different people, different looks. Mm -hmm. Um, and one of the opportunities that I got knowing, learning and teaching myself and putting myself through your classes as well, it was that I learned how to be professional, you know? Mm -hmm professional honestly because you know I know there was many things I was like oh crap I've been doing that and that we're not supposed to be doing that you know when you work with clients and so um, learning different techniques um, learning different types of, of makeup because like I said you can't put the same makeup on everyone um, with with this opportunity film came along mm -hmm. um, I was able to meet a producer and makeup artist uh, um, that they're based in Boca Raton. Ooh. And so they, they shoot commercials, like all, all the stuff that you see on TV that they're selling, mm -hmm. that type of commercials. And so, um, so they, they hired me as a, a lead makeup artist. And so it started from there. And that's where I learned. I was like, man, I can't, you know, the, the little things that you never think of that's when I was like, yeah, you can't use that. They would never hire someone if you were to use the makeup that you see on YouTube ever. Right. You know? Well, and the fact that you had a kit also. Yeah. So you were able to work right away. Oh, yeah. You didn't have to go out there and buy all these other products and have a whole other investment. Too. Right. And that so was one that's of, great. Yeah. That was one of the things that now you bring, that you bring it up. It was like, hey, um, so whenever they did hire me, they said, all right, do you have a kit? And I was like, I do. And because I had my kit all put together, they were able to pay me even more. Ah, so, yeah. so there you go. Yeah, and that happened so quickly too, right? Oh yeah, I started right after I finished your class. Yes. But um, a lot of the things, and one of my big things is networking because you can't just feel like, all right, I'm going to do this and sit there and then expecting that everything's going to come to you. No, you have to put the work. 
And so after your class, I said, all right, I feel confident. So one of the things that your classes gave me was like confidence and be able to call myself a, a real makeup artist, professional makeup artist. And, um, and the opportunities came with that, as, uh, um, with that um, after your classes, a lot of opportunities. So I've done photo shoots, I've done commercials, I've done uh, weddings, proms, I mean, just name it, theater. And, um, and just like I said, being humble enough that uh, there was a lot of things I'm like, all right, let me learn about this. And a lot of, uh, Leslie teaches, does a lot of these videos online. And sometimes when I'm waiting for something, mm -hmm. I'll just click on one video and, you know, because makeup is, I, I compare it as like a, it's like a medical field. Makeup, it's always changing. It it's, is. It's, it is it's always, always changing. changing. Yes. So it's always good to keep going back, you mm -hmm. know, trends, everything. So it's always you know investing into yourself it's investing into your career you can't be doing the same thing for the next year or two years everything changes so. like your portfolio your work and also Absolutely. what happens too is that you know every time you grow you are seeing more things even though you're watching the same thing you're hearing and seeing more things right yeah it's that repetition, you maybe yeah. didn't see before yeah definitely mm -hmm. repetition going back and and I, every time I come back to um, your studio, Orlando, I drive over here, I always I have my Snapchat. And I always usually post where everything begins, you know? <laughs> That's my hashtag, that. with everything started, with everything, where everything uh, begins. And because it is true, you know, I've always, that's one of my things as I go, I said, I'm never going to stop learning. I'm always going to humble myself. Mm -hmm. Even if mm -hmm. I have years and years of experience, I'll be like, nope, I'm going to humble myself because everything's changing, you know? Yeah. And, and as an artist, we are, you know, we're creative people. So yes, we being in an environment where you're with other artists, it just gives you more creativity. Correct. And when you're a freelancer, a lot of times, or, or if you're just, you know, kind of watching, you know, the internet, that's a lonely world because you're, you kind of think you're with someone, but yeah. you're not really, you're just watching somebody else work. Right. Versus, you know, getting that coaching to say, Hey, you know, there, somebody watching you that has experience, you know, I've been where you want to go. Right. Correct. And so that's being able to open those doors for you and helping you, you know, not having to make nearly as many mistakes as I made to fast forward your career, yeah. you know, in a year and a half to have done all those things. That's yes, amazing. I am is. so excited. I'm very grateful. And I've texted Leslie many times from the, <laughs> like, Hey, I just wanted to let you know, you know, that I'm very grateful of you and I'm so thankful that you are, are my teacher. I tell everyone whenever I have to Aww, come over here, it's like, you. she's my teacher and um, my mentor on the makeup world, um, my go-to person. Sometimes I have called you and like, oh my God, this is going on, you know, <laughs> because like I said, you never stop learning. No, you know? and your career is just continuing. So I know I wanted to also have you share, um, so where are you at right now with your business? Because this is exciting. <laughs> it is very exciting. Um, so before everything happened, there was this crazy idea that just happened in my head. I, I didn't think it was going to be possible. And uh, I wanted to create uh, my own company mm -hmm. where, um, you know, I, I can create, keep creating and keep uh, reproducing what we were already doing, but as well helping other makeup artists and kind of like you do what you did, pave already the path where we can walk and it won't be as hard, mm -hmm. you know, teach us all that. And so I said, all right, I think that's something that I'm looking forward to do as well. I think that when you help and you, you know, when there is that type of energy, mm -hmm. beautiful things happen. Yes. Um, and so, um, so then two years ago, that's when, when they started. So I came to my business partner now because when people work together, it's even better. And so I came to my that's business partner. Yes. And I was like, Oh my God, I have this amazing idea. Da -da -da, and I just, I just <laughs> spilled everything. And she goes, hold on. She goes, I will never work with you. And I said, what? She's this is supposed, your sister? Yeah, this is my sister, my, <laughs> also my business partner, um, Alma. And um, she's a hairstylist. She went to, um, she did a, what is it, like a 
So you went to school and competed with uh, Miami, Orlando, Tampa, you know, mm. big, big, uh, and she won first place off Florida. Wow, so that's great. Yeah, so she's been doing all this. So I come and I, you know, have no experience of any of that. I did. And so I was like, da, 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 like this is what I want to do. She goes, no, I will never work with you. I said, why? She was like, because you have, you don't, you don't have the experience and there's a lot of things that you need to learn. Uh -huh. And she was like, do you know, how do you cancel this color with this color? I'm like, no. And then a year, oh, yeah. so she started testing you. Oh yeah, she did. I was like, uh -oh, uh -oh. see, you were the attorney practicing law without exactly. passing the bar. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and so a year and a half later, after your class and everything, mm -hmm. I was like, guess what? I know how to cancel that color now. <laughs> I was like, I know how to do it. I said, mm -hmm. I am ready. And then this is where our company was born. Um, Billy Gore is the name of our company. And so we do, we do hair and makeup for different occasions. Um, and that's where we are right, right now. We're opening, uh, or we are going to start from this place that we're going to be working from. It's mm -hmm. called Synergy Studios. And this is our first place. Or in Ocala, in, right? In Ocala, yeah. Florida, correct. Yeah, it's great. And so this is our first place. This is our baby. This is something that we've been working hard on. Mm -hmm. And yeah, just that and other many, many projects that is going to come with the uh, grand opening of this, um, this studio as well. That's that is life. fantastic. So this is a huge success story. Um, not you know, it's it's kind of like everything. The there's that eighty twenty rule of people that uh, you know, Esmeralda is uh, she single mom has three kids, has a huge drive, has been able to also you know kind of put in the time, put in the education, and now you're partnering with your sister. You actually gain the respect of your sister. Oh yes, yes, big time. <laughs> I'm so grateful for you. I was like, oh. It's like, I know how to cancel that color now. I know color theory. I know how to custom blend. I can do yeah, all these things. Yeah. That is so great. Um, so, you know, if, if those of you that are out there that are listening to this, and I know there's a lot of people, so hi, <laughs> hello. Um, the Cara Makeup Academy is, we're here in Orlando, Florida, but we have virtual classes. We have live virtual classes. So we have expanded our education. Um, for no matter where you live now, yeah, it which makes we it a lot easier. Yeah, yeah, we didn't have that before. No, no of course, that would have been perfect for you. Yeah, like <laughs> click on the button. Yeah, right. So, um, you know, the 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 level of education that we have and the products that we have and putting together. I mean, you are you've been able to just you know grow your passion and turn it into a true legitimate business yes definitely. you're a respected makeup artist in your area mm -hmm. she's done some weddings with us um and you know i mean just you know i've just seen you grow you have a you know beautiful instagram mm -hmm. she's a beautiful person inside and out like you know um and that's the thing, you know, having a lot of integrity about your business as yes. well. But uh, so I wanted to share our success story of Esmeralda with Thank you. you. I know. I'm so excited. I'm so thrilled. I can't wait. We're going to have a conversation five years from now. And, you know, you'll just be a rock star. It'll oh, be, you know, yeah. amazing, amazing. Yeah. And time goes by so quickly. Yes. So for those of you that are interested in our classes, we have lots of success stories like this. And um, we are here in Orlando. You can go to caracosmetics.com. Check us out. You can, we have, actually, we have a new one-day class that's coming up. And it's called Elevate. So mm -hmm. Elevate Your Makeup Artistry. And um, that's coming up very soon. So we have that. We have our Business and Beauty course. We have our Business and Bridal course. We have our brow class, lash classes. Yes. I mean, yeah, she's taken a whole bunch of oh, our yes. classes. Oh, yes. Yes. And that's what it takes, you know, in order to be well-rounded. That's that's the big yes. thing, to be a well-rounded makeup artist. It's because, healthy. yeah, there's you then you don't lose opportunities. No, not at all. You have multiple sources of income yes. that are coming in. Mm -hmm. So it's so exciting. It yes. is. It is. It is very exciting to know that, you know, I can provide any service to different 
type of clientele mm -hmm. and I feel confident that I know just talk to them like I, every time I sit with my clients like just talk to me tell me what you want and, you know <laughs> and I'm able to deliver but if I never taken your classes or your course mm -hmm. you know I would have never been able to um, show my work show what they, or, or you communicate with them because mm -hmm. communication and makeup it's a big deal. You have to uh, listen, understand what your clients are asking because everyone is different. Yeah. And but if you would, if I would have never came, that you know, we like just <laughs> let me do the last look I learned <laughs> on everyone else, <laughs> on everybody. <laughs> so now you know. Oh, yeah. she's a seventy-year-old woman versus a twenty-year-old yeah, girl and versus big, a bride yeah. versus you know. Uh, commercial, so that's yeah. fantastic. It is amazing. I love it. I'm so grateful and Aww. thankful because you know it takes a lot, and it, yes, it, it, it's yes. the people that you surround yourself with. Sometimes you have to just let go of the old and invite new things, and you know, and with that comes career, mentors, yeah, everything, absolutely. Yeah. And you never stop learning. I yeah. never stop learning. Yeah. I was in a course, I was in a sales course actually yesterday. Nice. Yes, from one of my clients that came in. So I, you know, continually learning business and artistry and, you know, all of these things that I can just take, grow that knowledge and continue to feed it to all of you guys. Yeah. Um, so and that's, that's beautiful. Yeah. That's what you do in business. When you love what you do, you just continue to grow and yeah. that's that's what we do so thank you so much my pleasure thank yes, you for inviting yes me and hopefully you guys have enjoyed this beautiful success story of esmeralda and you can follow her on on um on facebook on instagram yeah, on snapchat billy gore, billy gore yes and instagram we'll put that in there facebook. yes and for those of you that are in ocala you definitely should check her out and go see her in the <laughs> flesh <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much and have a wonderful, wonderful Amazing. weekend, everybody. Bye. <laughs>